everybody and welcome to another episode of AC Jones Kitchen. This episode is going to be very special because rather than cooking or baking something and sharing a new recipe, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favorite kitchen gadgets to use. So in this basket are my top 10 favorite kitchen gadgets to use, things I just can't live without in the kitchen, things that are multitaskers, that help me do a myriad of different jobs with just one tool. I'm so excited to share them with you guys today. So let's get started. So this is what's known as a bench scraper or a kitchen scraper. This one happens to be stainless steel, which is really awesome. I think it gives it just a nice weight to it and um, a nice stiffness on the edge here. This edge is wonderful for scraping up dough. It'll help get all of those tricky, sticky things off your counter after you roll out cookie dough for sugar cookies, or if you're rolling out a bread dough or a pretzel dough or a pastry dough. This is great for not only scraping it up off the counter, but also for evenly dividing dough. So if you roll it sort of into a ball, you can just cut this right down the middle. It's sharp enough to cut the dough, but not sharp enough to hurt you. So this is one of my favorite tools to use when I'm working with any kind of dough in the kitchen. This right here is a nifty little tool. As you can see, this one is very old and very well worn. Um, but this is what I like to call a push-up measuring cup. This is actually called the metric wonder cup. And so this wonder cup here is great because you pull out this little plunger at the bottom and you can pull it to whatever um, amount you want, any volume that you want. So right here it's at one cup. So you pull this out, you can fill it up with something, usually peanut butter or Crisco, honey, something that's sticky or something that doesn't come out of a, a regular measuring cup very well. Something that's really hard to try and just dump out that's not very liquid, it's a little bit thicker when it comes to viscosity, you can use in this cup. It is so useful. Um, once you fill it up, you just press the plunger, it all comes out, and then you can use a spatula and scrape off the edge of this to get every last drop of what you're using out of this measuring cup. Super useful. Use it for peanut butter, marshmallow cream, Crisco, honey, anything like that in the water cup. So this guy right here is a kitchen scale, and it is one of the most useful tools that I use in the kitchen. A lot of recipes that I use actually go by weight rather than by volume. And so it's really useful and very clean because I don't even have to use a measuring cup or a measuring spoon at all when I'm making some recipes. I just put my bowl on top of my kitchen scale, I measure all of the ingredients by weight, they get mixed up, they get thrown into a pan, baked in the oven, and this is what does all of my measuring. So this is great for that. This is also great for if you're a pour over coffee lover. I love pour over coffee. This is great to use. I set up my whole sort of pour over apparatus on this and I'm able to weigh out not only the coffee granules but I'm also able to weigh out how much water I've poured over the coffee granules. So multi-use tool right here and it's some of the cleanest baking you'll ever do if you measure things by weight rather than by volume. I love it for a minute pinch. So kitchen scale right here. So this tool here is really fun. This is a decorating tool. You can use it for icing. I use it for tiramisu cream because I make little miniature tiramisu bites. So I use it to put the topping on my, my tiramisu bites. You can use it for mousse, I suppose. Whatever your heart desires that you can that you can essentially pipe, you can use with this tool. So what you do is you just pull back the plunger, you detach the top here, you can fill it up with your cream or your mousse or your icing, whatever it may be. And then you get to pick out of a bunch of different design tips. This one happens to be a star tip, um, but they have about six different um, designs that you can use for the top here. You just screw that on. And then what's great about this, what I absolutely love, especially when it comes to miniature cupcake making or my tiramisu bite uh, creations, is that you can just take this little thumb button here and you can evenly disperse whatever it is that's in here onto your cupcakes or your tiramisu bites or your pound cake or whatever it may be. So, this is a great tool. I love it. I use it all the time for that purpose and it makes everything just look really, really elegant in the end because everything is nice and even and that makes me very happy. So, Pampered Chef makes this specific model. Um, it's a great tool. I would suggest it to anyone who loves to decorate things. So, so this tool right here is another Pampered Chef tool specifically. I know they make it in other models, but this one's Pampered Chef and it has always done me 
right in the kitchen. So this is great for when you're chopping things and, and you need to mince them very fine. So if you're chopping onions, if you're chopping um, celery, if you're chopping carrots, peppers, anything like that that just needs to be chopped very, very fine. This is so quick and fantastic. You just cut things up small enough to be able to put under here and then you push down on this little plunger here and as you can see it will chop things for you and it chops them very fine, it chops them quickly and it's one of the easiest and most awesome tools to use when you're in a pinch and you're trying to hurry to get dinner ready. So I suggest this. It's also great because then the onions don't make you cry. So if you put on mascara, eyeliner, and you're chopping onions, use this. Okay? Cool. So these things, these things, I, I guess I refer to them as grip pads. It's kind of how I refer to them. Um, you can use them from anything to opening a jar to stabilizing a cutting board. You know, you got your tricky jar and your hands are just slipping. Maybe it's a hot day and you just can't really grab onto the jar lid. These are great for doing that. These are also great for, like I said, slippery cutting boards. So I just throw them down on the counter, single layer, and you throw your cutting board on top of it and then you can shake that cutting board and it is not going to go anywhere. And that is very useful, especially when you play guitar and piano and you like your fingers. You don't want to hurt them by having a slippery cutting board and a knife slip. You don't want that. So make sure your cutting board is safe and sturdy and these things will absolutely help that. Another thing about these that are just absolutely perfect is that, especially for my specific scale, my specific kitchen scale that I have, I love these because, as I said before, I make pour over coffee on these, and the receptacle where my coffee drips in, you know, that my coffee drips into is made of glass. And when you put glass on glass, it, it gets very slippery, it can get very dangerous, and I don't want my little coffee receptacle to break because I love coffee and I need it, and that would be the worst thing if on the morning I needed it, it just broke. So I take one of these, I pop it right on top, look at that, it fits perfectly, and so I just pop it right on top of my kitchen scale and it keeps everything that I put on top of it nice and steady so that I can ensure I will not lose my coffee in the mornings. Because who wants that to happen? Right? Okay. So, get yourself some of these little grip pads. They are fantastic. You don't realize how much you need them until you have them and you start using them and then you don't have them. So, get yourself some of these grip pads. So, this next kitchen gadget is actually a part A and part B. So it has to do with whisks, and this is my favorite whisk to use, okay? It's not completely rounded like a traditional whisk would be, albeit, you know, this one's mini. I'll get to that later. Um, but with this sort of flat scooped whisk like this, it's great because you just tip the bowl, you just go back and forth, and everything kind of stays in the bowl. It whisks up so much faster, and it is just super useful. So I love this whisk. You should get one of these kinds of whisks. You won't regret it, okay? Now, part B of this, is this miniature whisk here and I know it seems like a silly little tool um, but it's really useful for me because there was a, a, a time there when all I was eating in the mornings I, I had a regimen of breakfast and it was protein pancakes in the mornings well I would only make one serving because they're not really that great frozen or refrigerated and then heated up the next day so I'd make a single serving a day and I'd just mix it up in like a little measuring cup and so this miniature whisk was great because Obviously, a huge whisk, you can't just, you, know, you have to take out a huge bowl, and then you have to get the huge whisk, and it just, it's too much for too little. So this miniature whisk, I have found a great use for, I mean, you could use it even in like chocolate milk. I mean, that's great, right? Whisk up your chocolate milk in your, in your cup. You can use it, as I said, I sort of have a little pour spout measuring cup that I would mix up my little protein pancake mix in, and it was just really useful for that. So, trust me, you can find a use for this. It's pretty cool. Finish whisk. So my next favorite item is this hand pressed juicer. This is great because whenever I drink water or whenever I drink tea, I always love a little bit of lemon in it or, you know, a little squeeze of lime, something like that. Anything a little bit citrusy in my water for the day. It just makes it so much more enjoyable. And so I love this hand press because you just put a little pop of uh, your lemon in there, a half of a lemon, a quarter of a lemon, anything like that. And all you do is you squeeze it down, the juice comes out the bottom, all the seeds are captured, um, a lot of the pulp is captured in here as well too, and you just get fresh lemon juice, lime juice, orange juice, whatever it is coming out of the bottom of this. Now, 
I used to use a cone, a cone juicer or like a star tip juicer as they call it, and it was great. Um, but the only problem that I found with it, I, I found a couple problems with it. And the first thing was that whenever I would squeeze out the lemon or squeeze out the orange, whatever it may be, the pulp would get captured at the bottom, but it would prevent all of the juice from coming through the holes and into the sort of little container at the bottom of the juicer. And so I was losing a lot of the juice out of the lemon that way. Um, it also would allow a lot of seeds through, and on top of it, it was just really, really hard to clean because there were a lot of deep grooves in the cone and all those tiny little holes that you had to really try and scrub out to get all the pulp out. It was just a pain to clean and really hard to use. So this hand-pressed juicer has been a saving grace. It is so great because all I do then when I'm done with it, you know, I'll give it a wash and it's just a quick wash. Everything comes out very easily and uh, the seeds just kind of sit right at the top and you just dump them right out. So this hand-pressed juicer, super useful. If you love lemon in your water or any kind of citrus in your tea, um, I would highly suggest that you use this. So this next tool, I use this for so many different applications. This is called microplane. And if you look really closely at the microplane, it has a bunch of these tiny, tiny, it's like a miniature grater. And this is great to use for anything from if you're zesting limes and lemons or orange peel, if you are grinding fresh nutmeg, it's fantastic. I even use it on top of my tiramisu bites. I, I get some semi-sweet chocolate and I grate it on top of the top of the, the tiramisu bites. So this goes chocolate, citrus, nutmeg, spices, anything. I mean, you can, cheese, they show cheese on the front of this, and carrots, you, you can do anything on this. It is fantastic, it is a multi-purpose tool. I absolutely love it, and it's great for zesting. I, you know, I also have a traditional zester, one of those tiny little kind of fork-like cooking tools uh, that has the little holes in it that you just sort of pull across the peel. And while it's great and it gets you, you know, nice big strips of zest, you also have to use a lot of pressure on the fruit to get that zest. And by doing that, sometimes you also get a lot of the pith underneath, which is the bitter part of the fruit. And you don't want that when you're zesting. The great thing about this is, the great, I just said it. The great thing about this, sorry, is that you can just take your lemon, your lime, your orange, whatever you're zesting, and you just sort of run it across the top of this and you twist it as you go. And you will never get pith in whatever recipe you're using uh, the zest for because you can just so lightly go on the skin of that, you know, the rind of that citrus fruit and you'll never get that bitter white part in your recipe. So, microplane, I highly recommend it. I use it all the time. Just some microplane. So one of my last favorite tools here are these spring-loaded Fisher scoops. These are fantastic to use. They come in a bunch of different sizes. I use a small one for cookie dough. I use it for making my Oreo truffles. I can make everything of equal size and shape by using this, and it makes sure that you know everything gets out of sort of the, the little scoop part of this because it scoops it out for you. And then I use this larger one for things like cupcake batter or muffin batter to make sure that all my muffins are the same size in the tin. It really, these just really work, and I use them for everything, and I absolutely love them. So get yourself some spring-loaded disher scoops, just like this. Thank you for tuning in to this AC Jones Kitchen episode. I hope that in this list you found some kitchen gadgets that you can add to your stock. I hope you love them just as much as I do, and you use them just as much as I do. Um, they are certainly helpful tools in the kitchen to keep everything clean and even, and just wonderful for baking and cooking. So please check them out. Tell me what you think. If you do end up purchasing any of these items or finding any of these items to use, please tell me what you think in the comments below. Uh, please let me know what item you think would be really useful for you in the kitchen in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and please check out AC Jones Music on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at AC Jones Music. I'll see you guys next time on the next AC Jones Kitchen episode. See ya. top for decorating purposes. So this one happens to be a star tip, but they have a bunch of different other um, designs that come with it. You don't do that.